everybody, Pedro here for PG's Continuing Journey Channel, and I just um, was listening to my most recent um, health and wellness meeting that I attended, and it really gave me some things to think about, a lot to think about when I put this together, so it gave me a lot of, first of all, um, I've suffered a lot of self-esteem issues and depression and anxiety for some, for most of my life, mainly because I was an obese child and having gone through, you know, having, um, been called, being the victim of jokes, fat jokes in school. That's why I really participate in sports. I try my I try my luck at basketball, dodgeball, even softball, and I even did that during my Weight Watchers years, especially when I was a lifetime member. And looking back at that now, I don't I do not I try not to see myself as a failure. I just tried, but but you know myself. No, the way everybody was making fun of me when I, because I was an obese child was back in the day was really made me feel hurt and and my self esteem and my was at an all time low and my depression and anxiety was at an all time high at that time. So and I even and so my and that's why I was out of why I was in the closet most of the time. In other words, I did not come out as a gay man until 10 years ago when I was 42 because it was that time. And I'll explain all that in a moment. But my fear, had I came out when I was very much younger, kids would have been, and this happened to me at one time, um, at their then co-workers way back in the day found out that I went to see Brokeback Mountain and they would throw all these gay jokes at me. I was like, you you like this? this you like that movie? Blah, 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 blah. I cannot remember the exact questions were, but it made me feel guilty. And imagine had I came out at that time, the jokes would have been even worse. So, and and I think that makes me also look back also when I tried between 20, 2009 and 2019. No, I did, I ran sub, I did several 5Ks, walk, running, walking, running, jogging com combinations. No, I was not there to, um, even if I never established myself as an athlete, no. I was just there just to be part of the atmosphere, have a great time, and just do my best and to this day, I still am much more active now than when I was a child. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you will see how active I really am. So anyway, flashing back, you know, I think flashing forward to the to the topic that we're, we were they were talking about. I think for me at this point. No, April 1st, 2024, and this is no April Fool's. I've learned to stop worrying about what everybody else thinks of me because at the end of the day, for me, people are going to talk about me anyway. No matter how good or bad or how quiet I may be, you understand? So, for me personally, I just learned to stop worrying about what everybody thinks of me. That's number one. Because... I've discovered after being, I'd like to say, partially closet that I'm not going to be everybody's friend. I'm not going to please everybody. And you know, but darn, I still show kindness. I still show respect. And I've learned that I'm currently learning that when I try to get into an argument or they want to blah, 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 I just step out of the way. Get out of the way. It's like that's someone if I'm trying not to get involved with somebody else's problem 
I just get out of the way, let him handle it. Let go, let God. You see, no, I still have a relationship with God and I don't follow religion because come because that's what that's one of the reasons to me landing me in trouble in the first place so anyway as far as this point in my health and wellness journey is concerned no we were also talking about that Oprah special that aired on ABC recently and my perspective on that is I refuse to see myself doing drugs because for me personally seeing what my late grandparents and other relatives who are the, who suffer from diabetes seeing all those drugs all those medications in injection shots whatever they call it they had to go through just to um cure the blood sugar one of the reasons why i started my health and wellness journey 18 and a half it's going to 18 to 40 years ago in the first place because i refuse to be putting myself to all that. I think the closest I ever did to any surgery was having, no, I'm doing, having it, I had some things in, my right knee checked out, you know, I still, I do have my calluses checked out every few months. Excuse me, excuse me, it sounds a little fresh, but anyway, so I, I also had, um, I, get my annual eye exam once a year and I also did a did a colon thing in the last couple of years ago and next at the end of this month I'm gonna see a urologist to, and hopefully I won't have any issues but I do drink a lot of fluids including water and coffee and and once every two weeks I do one serving one can of diet coke or or one can of zero sugar soda or maybe one of each back-to-back -back days but that's once every two weeks so I do have a lot of versions to use the bathroom so you can imagine how um, for me that urge to pee shows up but anyway in the interest of keeping this video as g-rated as possible I think one of the things I learned to stop doing was stop beating myself up in my last video I was talking about but I was a little hard on myself because I and you know what? I did not fail to get my 10,000 steps. My Fitbit showed nine thousand over 9,300. And um, I did. That was because I have forgotten to put my Fitbit on. So the first two segments I did from 10 minutes. Uh, seg when I was doing my favorite segments from 10 minutes solutions. Dance off fast fast with Leah Sarego. And let me show you what that looks like I have it somewhere and here it is when I was doing the uh, and I posted a video on it when I was doing the my segments two and segment four which 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 was themed which had disco um in segment two and swing in segment four I do believe that I did got in well over a thousand steps a thousand steps maybe 1500 2000 estimate so there for me there is nothing to be ashamed of and on top of that Easter was a little slow I'm not gonna control for you, but Easter was a little slow but now we start picking up the pace now that everybody's back from visa vacation you know what I mean so and one another big thing that I'm proud of is avoiding the food in the office because for me, I'm like, if I don't need to be eating, if it doesn't sound appetizing to me, no, if everybody else wants to go get this, this or that in the office, line, fine, but not me, I'm not doing that. Like, I got my food from home, which I meal prepped from Saturday, and I, and speaking of food, I am proud of myself because I did enjoy the, um, 
holiday food, the Easter food that my auntie and her daughter put together. And that consisted of baked chicken, Puerto Rican pernil. I, I will track it as pork because they don't do it the traditional Puerto Rican way. They, they try to do it as they cook it with little salt as possible and they leave the skin out most of the time. So I tracked that on the my net diary app is pork. But as I was having my share, I figured out that, I immediately figured out that I can't eat all, I'm not gonna eat all this. So I did, I just, I just took what I needed to eat with half a sweet potato that was left for me. And I put a, a teaspoon of, I do, I cannot remember if I put a teaspoon of butter or not. But I did put a teaspoon of something on it. I gotta go back to my tracker. And I was very proud of that because I did try to love the bone. And what I was in, what I did do was take the rest of what was left in the tray and on the plate and put it in a couple of my plastic containers. You know, I recently bought the the meal the meal prep containers that I purchased at and um, Target was so great. It worked out beautifully for me and my lunches from home to take to work. So I did bought another set and I was able to take two of them and put four ounces of, of pork and one, three ounces of chicken breast from the baked chicken into one. So my Easter dinner was four ounces of pork along with some, what a chicken, chicken wing and a chicken drumstick. They were, they, were, they were all baked in the oven so I called it roasted. I tracked it as roasted anyway. So I put them all in the freezer and there was some that traditional arroz con gandules or rice, white rice with pigeon peas. But I'm not gonna try that to the weekend because I did part of my meal prep. I did my own brown rice and I had it sprinkled up with black beans and a couple of teaspoons of olive oil. And it came out so delicious. And speaking of delicious, shout out to Sea Cuisine. Because I ate there. I've been buying their um, Asian, Asian um, sprinkled. I, I forgot what they call it. But their salmon is so delicious. But because we had, um, my auntie and I had fresh salmon as dinner with onions. I had chosen to get the Sea Cuisine as part of my meal prep. Their tilapia, I tried their tilapia for the first time, and dang, it is delicious and a half. Woo! So I took my tartar sauce with me, and I had a little bit of that, just a tablespoon, just to add it. And I gotta tell you, that with the brown rice and, and black beans that I cooked myself came out to delicious and a half. So, at the end of the day, I'm very proud of myself for how far I've come in Easter. And the only, and I did have a little chocolate, but specifically the cho dark chocolate and peanut butter, peanut butter powder, protein powder that is. Dark chocolate, protein powder, and peanut butter combined with um, my lactate, um 2% milk and a few... F fresh fruits mix in there and a quarter tea and a quarter cup of oatmeal for a breakfast smoothie so this way I can plan it out and, and I did pre-track the Easter meal so the other two so the my the East the Easter dinner that was left for me came out to three portions I only ate one and I put divided them up into two plastic containers that I'll enjoy next weekend when I to um when I have my food treat for the weekend. And speaking of pork, and because I had pork yesterday, I had chosen to have my vegan Morning Star fresh fresh um um sausage as a dinner instead of bacon and I had instead of an egg yolk and leftover um egg whites that I put together with mini bell peppers and olives. And I sprinkle a little bit and the only two seasons I do now. The one I do with my omelet is um the um 
McCormick um, Everyday Bagel Seasoning. I love it. And I do Mrs. Dash Seasoning for my chicken. Those are the only seasonings I do nowadays. Because that helps me stay on plan. But anyway, speaking of plan, I did plan it out to have a, a piece of cake. One piece of cake. I did have it on a couple of occasions. Saturday, Saturday afternoon as a dessert. Just to get the taste of it. And today there was some left over. But I took just a little piece as my dessert just to taste it. And I'm proud of that too because the old me would have been having cake and ice cream and this every day. But my auntie and I in a conversation both agreed that the next time we should be having homemade cake in the house is for the next special occasion. It was it was originally planned for a birthday but that day, but that moment, ice cream cake showed up. And I enjoyed that too. Matter of fact, that was my food treat um, last Friday. So I'm glad I pre-trekked and pre pre-did everything. So I'm proud of that. And I'm proud of the fact that I'm still in the game, even though my struggle to Lou, get rid of these 60 pounds I gained during, during COVID continues. But you know what? I was watching the, uh, the some, some news channel, some YouTube channel, and they were talking about, would there be another pandemic if number 45 became president again? But then again, I'm not going to think about that. I really hope we don't have another pandemic. Because... Because then I'm, I'm, my fear of gaining 60 pounds and getting all of the weight that I lost in the first place will happen. But anyway, here I don't talk about the news or what goes on in the news. So here I'm here on this YouTube channel. I'm here to talk about my weight loss journey, my health, my wellness, my progress, and of course, everything that I'm doing to get rid of the 60 pounds plus I gained during COVID. But I'm also proud that I was able to to treat myself to a couple of things, which included um, recently a pair of size 38 pants from Old Navy, light green, like a light green Easter car. No, that's just one of my efforts to have one, at least one more piece of clothing that I can fit into right now until I get rid of my COVID weight and f can fit into everything else. So, lot to think about. Lot to do. There was a lot. I just wanted to let that all out, and just say that I that I will be continue to be proud of myself, continue that progress, because it is a process. No, I still I might beat myself up moments, but never. I should never say that I don't have an all or nothing attitude. But no. For me, this journey has never been like a TV game show. You know, sometimes I had to get through a lot of wrong answers to get to the right ones. Or, and I'm going to continue doing what's working for me. You know. And I'm going to keep, keep it moving. So, that's it. That's it. That's why the, time, the title of my YouTube channel is called PG's Continuing Journey. Because this, this is Pedro Gomez's continuing journey to better health, better wellness, and continuing fitness for my mental health, and continuing to get rid of the 60 pounds I gained during COVID. But however, I'm going to soon have to change um, internal medicine doctors because according to my insurance, they are no longer taking out cyanide, so I gotta find one who is very good and will continue to support me because I cannot, in my Mount Sinai days, my doctor was changing every two years, and I'm like, I can't continue this shit. <sighs> Excuse my French. I can't continue this mess. But anyway, I will keep you posted on what happens when that happens. But anyway, it's, all right, it's almost time for me to sleep, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. And this is not April Fool's, so don't, 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 I know it's April 1st, 2024, but 
You don't expect any pranks here because it's in the clubs. At this point in, it, in my journey, there's no phone around here. No, I tracked him. And I ate just 2,000 calories today, so that too I am proud of. I think the biggest thing I am proud of, I did not overeat. So far, I did not overeat. I did have some things that were higher in calories than I originally wanted, but so far did eat today I did not overeat. So far this week I did not overeat. So that's that's another continuing work in progress. So what's the well I'm sure I plan better the next time I am in the house most of the day because of severe weather. It is supposed to be raining most of most of this week here in New York City, but I'm still gonna keep doing doing what I got to do and sometimes the meteorologists are wrong. But anyway, I'm gonna go wrap this up. I'll see you the next time I see you. Make yourself a priority. Take care everybody. Peace.